You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. 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 Watch Nollywood Pictures TV. And you subscribe. 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 We will be happy to subscribe now. I summoned you in this Oracle Square to inform you of what has been happening between us and Umuama people. We have severed all relationship with them. And I want all the men that have been initiated into the masquerade court of this Okwele Kingdom to know that any dealing with an Umuangwa man is a dealing with the enemy of this kingdom. Your Majesty, hmm. your words are too heavy. And I'm sure all men gathered here would like to know exactly what the Umuangwa people did. Yes. They have the effrontery to drag this kingdom to the dreaded Oyi Shrine in Umuome, over the Oyolo River. They want to destroy us. And if anybody makes a move to destroy you, and you find out, you will swear, the wisest thing to do is to swear up to that person. Your, 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 your Majesty, um, please do not say I am interrupting you. Um, can I provide a direction? 
What direction are you providing? Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. You see, I am privileged to have heard about this thing before now. The, this act of uh, dragging us before the dreaded Oyi Shrine was something that was perpetrated by a village or, or even a mere family. Are you going to retaliate against our whole kingdom? Why don't we uh, confine it to be the family? Ichi Ogunabo, I disagree with you. Our retaliation should be total. Because when you dip a finger into the pot of oil, definitely the oil will affect other fingers. I want you to understand one thing. It is now at Lord for any man from this land to beg anything from an umwama man. They are not on their own. They are on their own. And no man in this kingdom is permitted to render any assistance to an umwama man. Even if you see them walking to their grave, allow them to die their death. Any act from any man of this kingdom to save an Umwama man from danger is an act of sabotage. Am I clear on this? Yes, Your Majesty. Am I clear on this? Yes, Your Majesty. Am I clear? Yes, This man is a man from Umwama. It is possible that he is not one of those who ignited the wrath of the, the king. Hey, 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 excuse, excuse me, sir. You, you can't go into that forest. It is dangerous and risky to go into that forest. Who are you, please? I am Eguano. The blind Eguano of Omoawa Kingdom. I am entering the forest to pluck some leaves to cure a woman who has just been beaten by a cobra. If I don't get back to her in the next one hour, she will die. But I know exactly where I'm going to. Why then? Are you blocking me? I am doing this just because I have this feeling that you're not one of those Umongwa men. Wicked Umongwa men that took my people to the shrine. Mm. That means you are from Okwele. I am happy. For the first time in six years, a man of Okwele is talking to a man of Umuawa. That means you have a good heart. You can now go ahead and talk to me. I am listening. My name is Njakele. I am a hunter from Ukehe village in Okwele Kingdom. I just shot a buffalo in that forest. And that buffalo is not dead yet. If you enter that forest, I'm sorry that buffalo will run you over. I will give you something to control the cobra poison. Please, don't enter the forest. <laughs> Uh, I am impressed that I have come face to face with the best man of Okwele. Uh, thank you for saving my life.
Um, w w wait, sir. Take this, sir. This is Mpotombiang. It will control the cobra's poison. Take it, sir. <laughs> if I cannot control the cobra's poison from other things I have in my compound, why then am I referred to as the greatest? Huh? Thank you for the offer of Mpotom Nyo. I shall break all odds and pay you a visit. You know, Gwele? Um, sir. Do you think that is a, a wise thing to do? I will leave it to George after my visit. A man of Umongwa to pay me a visit in Okwele Kingdom. That is certainly going to be your last visit. Indubizu, we are waiting for you. Come out of your heart. Come, yes. Come out, Indubizu. Come out. Come out. We know that you're inside there. Come out. We are giving you your last chance. If you do not come out, we will tell you that we are maidens of this kingdom and we know the traditions that govern us. Yes. Come out into business. Come, come out. Come out. Where did I go? Where did I go wrong that this Adama girl cannot just let me be? Eh? You don't want to help yourself by coming out. We shall take action. Yes! yes. We are waiting. I said yes. Can, can you imagine? I said come out. Hey. Hey. Spirit of our ancestors, I Adama. I am calling on you. Come down and direct us on this path of justice. Yes. yes. There is a man named Indubizu. He is inside his heart and is listening to us. He has defied all the maidens in our village and have decided to go to another village to get a wife. Makagini. Even last night, he tried to rape two of our maidens. If he is right to defile us and go to another village and get a maiden for as a wife, spare him. But if it's not right, go out of our ancestors! Hey, 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 Nobody will save you. 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 Let me be that pillar of help You are 
calling for somebody Jackie they stand him by The gods of the people Are always there for their people You are calling for somebody Jackie Leary stand him by Jackie Leary stand him by Why did I come here? I would have remained in Uzuno and wait for you until tomorrow. I wouldn't have heard all these things. Ha! Based on what I've just heard and what I've seen, I'm telling you that you are not ever qualified to marry us in a Chinese. How can you? Make your conviction based on the rubbish that those stupid medicines were, were, were just. Say. What they said, we are not rubbish. No, call it rubbish. Medicines that have the audacity to invoke the spirit of our ancestors using the sacred Abubo Glissi cannot be said to be talking rubbish. They meant what they are saying, and based on what I heard, you are not ever qualified to marry us in a city. Just take it to your. No, 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 no. If, if you live that, like this with that community, then you want to keep me, you go. Ibu gum, ah, Ibu. Yeah, you are my only hope of marrying with Sinachi. Eh, because in the busy, I listened to the very maiden that spoke only yesterday, last night. You made a effort to rape two maidens in this village no. or this land. No, it's no, no. How can a man who is planning to get married tomorrow be making a effort to rape a maiden? That is madness. And based on that alone, it means you are a madman. And there is no way I will ever allow a madman to marry us, Nachi. And I'm a poor no, no, Okay, okay. Take me, take me to old. Take me to old. Now, see, help me marry us, Nachi. Take me to old. What you are seeing here is not me. Let me marry us, Nachi, tomorrow. And I will remain the best man for her, Bikonu. No. The only oath that is acceptable to me is that I will take you to the shrine of Omaku. Hey. Here in your village. Hey. And you are going to swear that oath that when you marry your Sinashi, my niece, hey. you are going to stick only to her until you die. Hey, but but Nai, Osinachi and I, we took that same oath. That same oath, we took it. Whatever rubbish oath you took with Osinachi does not make any sense to me because it has no impact on you. After that oath, you are still looking at other maidens and you are still making effort to even rape some. What does that mean? It means that that oath you took with Osinachi is nonsense, it's rubbish, it has no effect. And I don't trust it. I don't believe in that oath. If you are ready, then you are following me to the shrine of Omar. Hey, okay, now, uh, must we involve a date in this thing? Why can't we just take an oath between the two of us? If you even got that, I just, I just understand you are not serious. Tell me oh, okay, now, now, okay, okay, okay. I will follow you, I will take the oath. Lock your door. That's not from here. Lock it inside, just lock it from here. Lock, lock it. My name is Osinachi. My mother gave me that name because she believes that good things will be coming to me from the gods. But I've been thinking a lot. I don't think that Indubizi is, is good enough. I would advise you not to run away because the man who is about to marry you is a womanizer. If you truly, really love him, stay behind and marry him. Haven't you heard the word about what I'm saying? How can you be advising me to stay with such a man like that? How? I got everything you said and I am advising you based on what I understood. You said you made him swear with Ajani and if he is really 
a hunter. And I bet you he knows the potency of Mother Earth. I believe he will change when you marry him. Is it because he's a hunter like you? Is that why you're supporting him? Is it? I speak the truth at all times. And I practice what I preach. Do you know why? Because those of us who make our living from the forest must strive to be upright in all we do. I doubt he knows that. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't. Osinachi, I would want you to judge him based on what he would do to you, not based on what he did before meeting you. I've only met you for just a short while. And you have made such a huge impact upon my life. I wish I met you much earlier. I really wish. I feel the same way too. But there's nothing we can do about it. I wish you a happy married life in advance. Achalugo mama lama o sinachi ne peka mi ya ne koko mama o oyoyo mama ifi cholo pe ni abu so mama o sinachi ne pa so mama diko mi hey ima ne de mo ka ni si adi ne ko mama biko mi very happy for you students <laughs> My problem is that this man does not sing. Then we don't have a problem. Because I'm not planning on a big wedding, so we don't need music. Okay. But I'm hoping that you finally teach him how to sing, okay? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely, honestly. <laughs> You can I If I had known before now that we arrived here to marry a woman already betrothed to the Oracle, I would have insisted that you marry some other lady. I'm telling you the truth. Why, why are you talking like that? Eh? See, how can a beautiful woman like that end up with the oracle? It's not possible. I've told you that she's mine. We have a right for me to marry her just so much. Can you? Can you? Hey! 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 Um, yes, you see this drink I'm holding in my hand. Hmm? If you receive this drink from me, it signals only one thing that the man that has come to ask for your hand in marriage, that you have decided to take him, to accept him. It means that the decision to do that is entirely yours. <laughs> Receive this, this drink from me. Yeah. Huh? Then you go and look for that man. Eh? Once you give it to him and he drinks, 
then we are free to drink our palm wine in peace. man, even in a man, even in a It's a rapist. I never qualified to take that woman. What? A rapist? You remember the question I asked you at Omambala? I said, can a man face the future without first dealing with his past? That question you did not answer anything. You were caught in the middle. There is a living maiden, there is a dead maiden. You must have to deal with your past before dealing with your future, or else Elulu will reduce you to nothing. Hey! Have I not been vindicated? Lemai, have I not been vindicated? Control yourself as a man! Control your passions for goodness sake! But you never listen to me! I don't even know what I'm doing here! You are destroying my marriage! Why don't you tell them that I did not rape you? And what makes you think it is me? This is not all about me. You raped me with your eyes, remember? I have forgiven you. But there are other maidens you raped completely, thoroughly. And you feel you can get away with it. Evil man, that is who you are. But I want you to know that you cannot destroy that innocent maiden. This is not the same thing I've been telling you. Is this not the same thing I've been telling you? Deal with the rape before the marriage. But you will never heed to me. It's high time. Listen, it's high time I leave it to your troubles for you to face them alone. Hi. I told you that I did not rape her. I was on my way, mistakenly went to the Mambala uh, stream. I saw her taking her bath by mistake and I left. Why are they putting oh, oh, what I, I listened to everything they said, my friend. I listened. And I'm sure that you're not telling me everything. There's something you're not telling us. We were thinking that you hey. could be managed. Hey! It, it is just very clear to us now that no family can manage. Ah, some so. Hey, hey. Can you see me? Ah, some so. Ha! Ah, some so. Based on the information you gave me as regards the wife of the Arab, I summoned the father of the chosen maiden and issued him stern warning, stern warning to allow their daughter to be married to the oracle. All the elders here can bear me witness. It happened before us. Yes. I invited you here because it has come to my notice that my order has been violated. <sighs> they went ahead and organized a marriage ceremony for that maiden to be married to a hunter from Umwa. Now I ask, what shall we do? What shall we do? Nothing. Hmm? What do you mean by nothing? The ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Elulu is the electrifying god of Omambala people. He's making a move that has something to do with past evil of Hunter of Umwak. Uh, we should not even interfere. Are you possibly inferring that uh, we should leave them to continue this glaring rape of a royal order. Before the rape of the royal order, as you called it, there were series and series of proper rape of helpless maidens by the hunter of Umwak. One led to death. And you know, evils do not go unpunished in Okwele Kingdom. 
and indeed in all the kingdoms that uphold the sanctity of the motherland. Let a different thing be the obsession of this throne and not uh, the hunter of Umak. Elulu! Elulu! The electrifying god of the people of Mamba does not deal lightly with the rapist. And a man who you look at the nakedness of the women of Omamala. Ha! Any man can rape every other woman from every other village in this kingdom and go scot free. But no, no, no man, nobody can rape a woman of Omamala and go scot free. Man, it's just not possible. So let me tell you, better deal with this rape. You better not deal with this rape. You are the one doing this. Do what? What do you mean? What did I do? Why are you punishing me for this? For a mistake? I told you that I did not come to that stream intentionally to look at your nakedness. It was the old man who led me and to the... And that man met you because he wanted you to look into your past so you can reshape your future. But you refused to listen to him. Anyway, that is not what I came here for. I came to tell you that you will soon experience the agony of that innocent maiden. The agony of which innocent maiden? She told you she was returning from her purification. You see, sometimes I wonder the kind of beast you are. Good singers are good dancers. See, I do not need your song. You are going to dance for me today. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you want from me. Listen, we'll go gently into the bush and you give it to me and you become my friend. Or I'll drag you into the bush by force. 
take it from you and we become enemies. See, don't ask me to explain what it is that I want you to give me. Because you already know, the choice is yours. My name is Amuma. I am a maiden of Umambala, returning from her purification. So? What I'm carrying here is the water for my sanctification because I will appear before Elulu this night. I am getting married tomorrow. Please, let me go. Are you, are you daring me or what? Move, move or I move you. It's like you didn't get what I just explained to you gently. I am just coming back from my purification because I'm getting married tomorrow. Please, let me go. Yep, yep, yep. How did you get to know all this? Nothing is hidden under the sun. Of all the maidens you have raped, that one remains the climax of your brutality, your barbaric life and wickedness. She was to appear before Elulu for sanctification that would lead her to marrying the oldest son of the priest of Elulu. She was seen unclean, defiled, to marry the eldest son of the priest of Elulu. All because you raped her. All because of your wickedness. And now she killed herself because she couldn't stand the shame. Now, her blood is up for vengeance. Please, I am on my knees. Make it easy for me. I am entirely a new man. I have gotten rid of the brutality of the past. Please. See, you are a beautiful woman. You can bail me out. See, I will make you my wife if you can avert the wrath of the uh, gods of Omambala people. Please help me. Ndubizu of Umwako. My name is Adugo, the daughter of Ego. You see, I know you. Your parents gave birth to you with two legs. And now, because of your stupidity, you are standing with one leg. What, 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 what do you mean by one leg? I have two legs, two legs. You see, you will soon discover that you have no legs at all. And a man of your kind cannot have a dugo of Omambola as a bride. Does it actually mean that you want me to get married to the army? Nancy, please don't beg me because it will never happen. I'm only trying to open your eyes to certain realities. Please try and listen to me, okay? I'm listening, but I just don't get you. I mean, Indubizi is now history, so the only other option is the Oracle. I have my plans. I know what I want. I know the kind of man I want to get married to and the kind of life that I want to live. I know all that and it does not include getting married to an Can oracle. Can you shut up and listen to me? Ndubis was never the best option because that wasn't what your mother wanted. You were only trying to match up to his status. That wasn't what your mother said. The man you would marry must have the fellowship of men and he'll be the one that people pay homage to. Don't you get it? Exactly what I'm saying. That's the reason I said you want me to get married to the oracle. Because he's the only one that has so much followership like you're talking about. And people worship him every single day. You want me to get married to the oracle. I want to ask you a question. 
and I want you to be honest with me. If it were the oracle that your mother was referring to, won't you make your mother happy by marrying the oracle? Never. Why are you shouting never? Never. Why? Never. Have you thought about life as the wife of the oracle? Have you? I know what it is like. Until, as a matter of fact, I have seen it in my dreams. The wife of the oracle is being confined to this little hut with some maidens who are going to take care of her until they get married and they will take care of her until she dies and she's never allowed to leave that cottage until she dies and see i would not be able to live my life like that no i can't the wife of the oracle remains the only wife to the oracle he can't marry two women at the same time and see have you ever asked yourself how does the wife of the oracle get sexually satisfied? She's been raped. Raped by the priest of the oracle. You think I'm just gonna lie my body down so they can just molest me and rape me? The wife of the oracle enjoys the best in the land. The best of men and the best of everything. You have the license to change men. And no man will ever play games with you. I want you to cancel it from your mind because it's not possible for any man to rape the wife of the oracle. The oracle will kill the man instantly. See beyond sentiments. And understand that your mother actually wanted you to be the wife of the oracle. He has the fellowship of men. And he's the one that people pay homage to. Hmm? Let me be Please think about it, okay? you are the one person that can save us from the wrath of the king. Mm -hmm. um, we disobeyed him and it is our belief that uh, he's going to vent his anger on us. Please. As a Igweza, is a man of tradition. 
whatever he doesn't know, he asks questions. That is the quality of a good leader. He has already asked me what to do to you. And I told him to leave it for the gods. Uh, but Obwefi, that is where it becomes too risky. The gods of this land are very deadly. And we know that if you fail to come into this matter as the one who is the chief custodian of our customs and traditions, the gods of this land might, might, they might kill us. Yes. And this is why we took the risk of traveling all the way from Uzo Uno this night to come to you and plead with you to please help us. The moon shall become full soon. Do what the priest has asked you to do. Everything will be fine. <laughs> oh, boy, are you insisting that old Sinachi must be married to the Oracle? Who am I to insist on anything? Eh? The priest had chosen somebody for the uh, Oracle. And that person is Osinachi. So, be ready to give the oracle what he wants. Or, he starts your gradual destruction. Should I tell you the truth? I am now becoming wary of associating with you. Because you have suddenly become a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Please tell me why you called me out here, or I'll be forced to leave you now. You, you, you know you are the only friend I have in this town. But tell that to the birds. If, I, if you help me as your true friend in this town, you would never have planned to sleep with my fiance, your best friend's fiance. You, you, you planned this because you have no conscience. You have no conscience. Now who's going? Who's going? Just tell me why you called me out here. I don't want to remember what you did. See, see, nah, eh, the, the, way, the way you're, you're talking, it looks as if you, do, you, you you'll never want to help me again. So, eh? what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? See, I now understood what that old man meant when he said that you cannot face the future unless you deal with your past. There was something I did in the past that is now hurting me. Something you did? Where? What did you do? See, four years ago, before the Feast of Odaro, I raped an Omambala maiden. What? You, you did what? So many things were just happening to me that I, I, I was doing so many things that I, I, at the point, I was wondering what I was thinking. You know, I raped her and I finally found out that she was betrothed to the son of the priest of Elu. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The problem now is that she eventually killed herself when the son of the priest of Elulu refused to marry her. Now they said her blood is upon my head. I'm so confused. In the busy. In the busy. I'm not going to be part of this. Wait, 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 wait. I, I will I, not be part I, of I, this. I, 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 Listen, please, you are the only friend I have. You are the only one I can run to. See, all I want from you is just to accompany me uh, uh, to the shrine of, uh, to the oracle of Elulu. That's all I want you to do for me. Please speak on me. Atwara. I, I, I cannot do this alone. Eh? Obwefi. We are here before you. To start building what we destroyed. 
We analyzed our past actions and um, we've come to realize that we didn't get it right at all. That's why we are here. We had expected you as the father of the named bride to have appeared before the shrine and make demands for the money with which you prepare your daughter for the marriage to the oracle. Rather, you urgently planned to give your daughter out to that debased hunter of Omak. And I wonder why men should elect to give out a decent woman to a man morally bankrupt and the best. Obey you, fella. Please forgive us. Please. We never knew he was the best. If you don't shut up your mouth now, I will deal with you heavily. You are the brain behind this disobedience. And I want to ask you, who do you think you are that you can stand in the way of this oracle? Obuifu Fele, please tamper justice with mercy. We have already, we, 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 we already approached uh, Obuifu Okolosa. Okolosa. And he asked us to appear before the oracle and start in time to correct the blunder we committed. That's why we are here. Anyamara Kwano. Please, we are here as a family to beg for forgiveness and also to inform you that we have made up our mind as a family to bring us Sinashi before the oracle at full moon for the marriage. My dear man. Bigo. Buta bego. Mbamba. Oguadia. Mbamba. Mbamba. Oguadia. Mbamba. Obia Jolo. Buta bego. <clears throat> this is Ufua Bego. Use it to prepare your daughter for the marriage to the oracle. Hmm? She must be made to appear as a queen. Preferable. For that is what she would become. Preferable. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Thank you very much. Darling. We shall do your bidding. No. If you could look at it again, man. Yeah. <laughs> Mbamba, oh God, Mbamba, Mbamba, oh God, Mbamba, Mbamba, oh God, Mbamba. You know, I'm finding it very difficult to understand what you're doing. Ndubis, what are you doing here? Everyone has abandoned me. Don't also abandon me. See, that you are my last hope. Me? Hey, see, it seems to me that you're gradually falling into the same pit you dug for innocent maidens. How am I your lasso? Tell me. <laughs> Stay where you are. You will not be surprised to hear that I raped a maiden. See, you have been the one defending the maidens oh. of this land. Indubizu, I am not here to battle words with you. Go straight to whatever it is that brought you here. That is what I want to hear. Okay. One of the maidens I raped in Omambala finally took her life. You're not serious. I'm just getting to know. I, they said her, her, her blood is asking me for justice. Hey. Hey, Nju. It is finally clear to me that our gods and the ancestors of our land have decided to rise and defend us from your hand. Hey! Hey! <coughs> Please, can I have a word with you? Yes. I don't 
don't know why you call me. <coughs> the oracle shall be getting married next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I came to tell you that you are the one you are expecting to organize the maidens to the square of the oracle. Mazi, we've already received words from the king to that effect. And the maidens are ready for the occasion. Oh, that is good to hear. Uh, do you still remember what the man with the dreaded Oji master have told you about the man standing alone? There are men who believe that they are standing with people, whereas they are standing alone. Daughters of Uwaku should not gather to discuss the end of a man who is standing alone. Yes, I do. He said that maidens of Umaku should not gather anywhere to discuss about the man who is standing alone. Yes. Well, I don't need to tell you that Ndubizu is the man standing alone. Yes. He has to appear before the dreaded Elunudeity of Omambala to answer those questions. As long as he has not come there to answer those questions, I advise you to stop talking with him. I've set my mind. The choice is yours. And I'm... Why are they dragging me deeper and deeper into the politics of this land? I am not a man. What are you still doing here? Mba. Get out. Get out of my compound. Wait, is that what he, he, he came to tell you? We're just having a discussion. Are you, you can't I, just... I am not here to discuss with you. I have told you what I want to tell you. There are questions like I heard that you need to, to, to answer at the dreaded Elimu Shrine. Go there and answer whatever question there is you have to answer. And do not bother me again. Just go. That's exactly why I came. I've gone around everywhere. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody wants to accompany me. I've come to beg you so that you can accompany me to the dreaded enemy shrine. Hey! Into me, accompanying you to that shrine. You must be a joker. Listen to me. You are a dreamer. Do not come back here again. I have warned you. Don't ever come back here again. Get out. In the busy. Don't come back here again. The next time you come here again, I'll pour hot water on you. Stupid, useless man. Women cluster around you because of your meat. Get out of this company! Wait! Go away! Go! What is it? Go away! Go
Who are you? <laughs> My name is Njakele. Njakele Nili Onyujo of Ukehe. I have come to take Osinachi home as my wife. Okay. <laughs> 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 